me welcome to the stage my good friend, the owner of Smart for Life, Dr. Sasan Malavi. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. No pills gonna cure my ill. I got a bad case of loving you. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Sasson Malavi, but everybody calls me Dr. Sass. And, and I'm going to change my talk a little bit because the talk Jeremy gave was so excellent. I was blown away by this talk. I knew this guy had it in him when I met him. He just blew me away. So I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about myself and about the different companies we own and how I got into World and Halo. Um, so I started off as an emergency room doctor. I'm an MD. I worked in an emergency room. And right away when they started talking to me about Halo, I thought, wouldn't it be great if all those patients that showed up in my emergency room, dead on arrival, without a pulse, and without, not breathing, and the ambulance just, driver just said, we found them in the street, here it is. Wouldn't it be beautiful if they had a device that would tell us what was the cardiac rhythm two, three hours, three, four days before they showed up in my ER? Did they have some kind of arrhythmia? Was the potassium high? How many more people could we save if they were wearing that device, if they showed up in my emergency room and they couldn't talk because they were unconscious, but I would take the device, I'd plug it into some kind of a monitor and get all this data, what we call big data these days. And I'm... I started out in emergency, emergency medicine, but I was fat. I was obese, actually. And I started a journey, a journey in weight loss, eventually became both certified in bariatric medicine, which is weight loss medicine, and also in anti-aging medicine. Um, and my journey in medicine really took me into business and not the other way around. I, I started a company called Smart for Life, where we produce um, healthy products products that are low in sugar, high in protein, high in fiber. And uh, we've been doing very well with that, with that line. And I really believed in delivering food and nutrition would be key to making people living healthier and better lives. I also started a company called Straight Medical Lab, which Jeremy used to work for. Jeremy was my employee. I think I'm going to be working for Jeremy going forward. <laughs> and, and you know what? Uh, I'll tell you a story about Jeremy. He did a conference in Louisiana. And I don't know how many of you are in medical sales, but it's one of the hardest things to sell because doctors are busy. Some of them are just pain in the butt. And, and, and Jeremy would never, ever give up. I would talk to doctors and I would say, this guy's never going to buy anything. And Jeremy would sell him. But this company was one of the companies Jeremy said no to because he saw something bigger and he moved on. And I was friends with Jeremy on Facebook. All of a sudden, I see him in Dubai. I see him here. I see him there. I said, what is this guy doing? And uh, Lydia came up to me because I only talk to Lydia now. She's much better looking than Ryan. And she told me, you got to look at this device. And I said, no, I hate network marketing. Leave me alone. And then Ken and Tara came, and they literally shoved the device in my face and said, you got to use this. you gotta, you got to look into this. And I looked into it, and I, I knew Jeremy was already involved. And the fact that I saw what Jeremy was doing got me involved in it. And this device is revolutionary. I don't think any of you understand what's happening in the world right now. There is a revolution in the world happening right now. And I'll talk to you in a few minutes about it. And the revolution is that what's happening is that things are going to change very quickly in the next 10 to 15 years. We are going to have self-driving cars. 10% of, of men and women right now drive for a living. They will lose their jobs because self-driving cars are coming. Okay? The other thing that's going to happen is that when I'm in a nursing home, a robot is going to change my diapers. Okay? That's what's going to happen. I know some of you think it's crazy. That is what's going to happen. And in the next 10 to 15 years, 
the era of you sitting down with your doctor and giving him a long history, which gives a few data points, is going away. Everybody will have wearables. They will have huge data points that will be delivered to the doctor. The doctor will know your blood pressure, not just when you walked into the office, but for the last month, six months or a year, how you felt, how you ate, your blood glucose level. I don't think you guys realize how big that is. That is not just for diabetics. 50% of you in this room are insulin resistant. 50% of you in this room eat too much sugar. 50% of you in this room need to have your blood sugar monitored. You, you want to know, can you imagine when you're having a meal, and the end of that meal, you get an alarm, and your guardian gets alarm, and maybe your doctor gets an alarm, that your blood sugar went too high, even though you're not a diabetic, but you just pigged out and had too much sugar? Is that going to change your behavior? Do you think you're going to wake up the next day and say, well, maybe I shouldn't eat that again? Well, that's happening. And you're part of the technology that's going to do that. So you have to understand that this is just much bigger than diabetics. Yes, diabetics are going to benefit. But how many people are going to be prevented from getting diabetes? Because we will be able to tell them, guys, your lifestyle is wrong. You're too sensitive to sugar. And you will be able to know which foods work well for you and which foods don't. The quantities. This technology is going to make this possible. And it's actually much greater than this. Uh, because we are going to be using wearables for something else. Jeremy's daughter may live to 200 years. Now, I'm an anti-aging doctor. And I can tell you that the anti-aging community, we are right now saying that it's very possible that this next generation will come into the generation where we can begin reversing the aging process. It's there. In fact, me, Ken, and Tara, one of our confold with Dr. Klatz, who's one of the heads of the Anti-Aging Association, and he told us that he reversed his mother's age with new technology by 10 to 15 years in a one-year period. And he had the biomarkers to do it. So you think this is not tied in to that, to that technology? This technology is tied into anti-aging because if I can know your blood sugar, if I can know your toxins, if I can know your hormones, and I can know what you're being exposed to, if I can know your mood, if I can know your free radicals, and there are already sensors out there that measure free radicals that are going to be added to this technology as we go forward, we will be able to use nutrition, good me medicine, cancer prevention, lifestyle changes, and wearable technology to take this generation, my son's generation, and Jeremy's daughter's generation, and don't be surprised if they will live till 200 years. It's coming, folks. All right? And I can tell you that when you go to anti-aging conferences, they don't talk about it like something far away in the future. They talk about it something that's happening in the next 10 to 15 years. Um, cancer is being beaten. Uh, heart disease is being beaten. All those diseases are related to lifestyle. This device is the best lifestyle intervention tool I've ever seen, by far. This is it, and I'll tell you a few stories in a few minutes. So, you know, people are using wearables, you know, this is the typical things that you see. But really, it can be used for a lot more. And let me tell you why Halo is completely different from all the other devices. I got excited on the Halo device because of the Guardian and the SOS function. Because I bought a Fitbit when it came out. I wore it for three days and I stopped wearing it. I bought an Apple Watch when it came out. I wore it for a little while and then I stopped wearing it. I'm still wearing my Halo, this is the third week. And I hate wearing anything on my wrist. I don't wear a wedding band, I don't wear anything. I hate it. The reason is that it has that SOS function, it has the Guardian function, 
And I say, God forbid if something goes wrong and I have this with me. And I know the future. And I know that I myself suffer from um, blood pressure that goes up when I'm stressed out. And my blood pressure does go up when I'm stressed out. And I've realized that I need to relax them all. And white coat syndrome, the thing that Jeremy talks about that he had when he went to his doctor, we have 25% of people who take blood pressure medication today don't really need to be on blood pressure medication. They have white coat syndrome. They have, now there is a machine, it's called a 24 hour blood pressure monitor. You can put it on a patient, Medicare pays you $200 to do the test. And I do it, I prescribe it sometimes. I have a patient who comes in, he's very nervous, he has high blood pressure, his EKG is normal, we do cardiac echo, it's normal. I send them out for a 24 hour blood pressure monitor. It's a machine that they wear, it's like a halter monitor, there's a little box, it takes the blood pressure every, every half hour or so, and then it gives you a report. And if the blood pressure is normal when they were away, then you can take them off the drugs. How many doctors do that test? Very few, you know why? They want to deal with the paperwork, the patients sometimes don't like having the machine on for 24 hours. This is easy. This is the best 24 hour blood pressure monitor that I've ever seen, and Medicare does not have to pay $200 every shot for it. So, so this is revolutionary. One of the biggest things that's gonna happen right now is electronic medical records and wearable technology are gonna to come together. I bet you that in the next year or two, this company is gonna link up to an electronic medical record. So when you come to the office or you can download it at home, your doctor can get a lot of data about you right in your medical chart. And let me tell you why big data is so important. And, and I want to explain big data to you because I don't think people understand what big data is. There's two types of big data. Big data for an individual. So when you go to a doctor, he measures your blood pressure, has an EKG, maybe he does 50 different blood tests on you, right? And maybe a few other parameters. So there are 70 data points. Your hemoglobin, your cholesterol, just you can add them, 70 data points. Do you know how many data points are really in your body? Do you know how many different measurements we have to do in order to find out the health of an, of an individual? Somewhere in the range of 1,000 to 10,000. No doctor brain can process all that information ever. This is gonna have to go to artificial intelligence and the data points that are coming are gonna have to come from wearable device. And don't be surprised if these devices get a lot more sophisticated with something maybe embedded in the skin that transmits out that measures much more sophisticated measurements. Those data points have to be delivered to the doctor so that the doctor understands all this information and gets a very simple summary based on these thousands of data points. So that's one type of big data, big data from an individual. Then there's big data from a big community. Imagine a city all of a sudden has a flu epidemic. Well, if we are collecting data that is HIPAA compliant, meaning we're not collecting the patient's name and, and information, we we'll find out that all of a sudden 15% of the population has developed a fever. Well, that's an alarm. We will know that a flu epidemic is beginning before it ever begins. This also can, uh, can help us in other diseases where you have a whole bunch of people who can give you early signals on something happening in the population. A certain poison, a certain toxin, anxiety, if there's some issues in the population as well. So we know that these devices are here to stay, period. All right, if you think this is a fad, it's not. If you think this is in the early, early infancy of what's happening in the medical devices. The problem is that I'm a doctor and doctors have not woken up to these devices. They still don't understand what they do. You sitting in this room obviously have. So you're ahead of the game and you really are pioneers. This device that you are wearing right now and talking about should really be on everybody's wrist in this country in the next five years. 
because those data points are so important. And you will make it happen. There's also a perfect marriage between this device for weight loss. This device can tell us about, you know, a lot of my patients come to me and they tell me, I eat because I'm angry, I eat because I'm depressed, I eat because I'm bored, I eat because I'm stressed. Wouldn't it be nice if I could know if what the patient is telling me is true? That would differentiate between the patient who just tells me that and the patient who, who doesn't tell me that. Wouldn't it be nice if I can tell the patient, hey, you visited McDonald's twice in the last week. <laughs> All right. This is going to happen. Because this device was geographic, apps are going to be created. This is why the app store that this company has created is revolutionary. Because an app will be created that will tell you when did the patient eat, where did they go, and the doctor can put warning areas. You know, McDonald's, <laughs> don't go there. You're gonna, I'm going to get an SOS. I'm going to get a guardian alert. <laughs> it's going to happen. I remember five years ago, uh, I had a friend who started a diet, and uh, all of a sudden I get a phone call, like at 10 o'clock at night. He was living in New York City. I was living in, I still live in Florida. And he says, I'm outside of a pizza place. Talk me out of it. <laughs> and I go, what? He goes, I'm outside this pizza. I'm going to have a pizza. Talk me out of it. I said, don't go. Just leave. Go for a walk. Go have a protein bar. And he did. I would love to be able to do that automatically, electronically. People want that. People want to be talked out of it. People want to be talked out of eating bad. These devices will be able to do that. <clears throat> the other thing that you have to understand is that patients want to take back their health. Patients, and the reason patients want to take back their health is because medicine has gotten so sophisticated and medicine has become so um, patient-driven, meaning that we know that if you don't smoke, if you don't drink too much alcohol, if you eat correctly, if you exercise, if you keep your weight down, we know that those are the things that really lead to longevity. These are all things that only the patient can do. You can come to my office every day, and if you don't do those things, you're not going to have a healthy life. But patients get busy, right? We all have a busy life. We all of a sudden are looking up. It's 4 o'clock already. But a device that can give us feedback, that can give us data. We know medical studies have already shown that feedback devices make a big difference in patients' life. And feed, feedback devices work. This is a feedback device, okay? It can give you feedback every minute can give you feedback every hour. You can look at it at the end of the day. I look at my screen about three or four times a day. Feedback devices work, period. Halo is a feedback device as well. Feedback devices also make you a better person. We all talk about survival of the fittest, right? We all talk about genes. You want to pass your children better genes. You come with better genes. You have better chances of surviving. But there's another thinking in medicine as well. That technology can actually make your children live longer, healthier, and be more competitive than the people competing against them. I want to pass my children good genes, and I hope I got those from my grandparents and, and parents, and I can't control that. But if I can get my son and daughters to wear these devices and, in fact, improve their health, build better habits, live longer, and when you eat better, you think better, you have more energy, you have a higher chance of being successful, you're going to do better on tests. Do you think that... a an 11-year-old who's wearing this device, who's eating better and exercising and being healthier, is going to do better at school than somebody who doesn't have the device? I think so. People have to understand that we are in a competitive world right now. And it's a lot more than just genes. It's the technology you use. 
It's what you wear, how you feel. And if we want to pass on good genes to our children, we can also pass them good technology. This is the best gift I can give my son and daughter. Beside the SOS and Guardian function, I can teach them to get some feedback, to look at it, to see their numbers. This is survival of the fittest, and this will help you be fitter. It's just a fact of life. Maybe it's callous to say, but it's just a fact of life. I want to tell you a quick story. I got my devices. I got a first device from Jeremy. He sent it to me about five weeks ago. And then I got, I got my devices about three weeks ago. And we're getting some more now. This is actually not the patient I'm talking about. I, we didn't have a picture. This is another patient. But So when I got my device, I had a patient who that was sitting in my office. I had a patient who wasn't losing weight. And I said, you know, I'm going to put a device on her. So I had one of my... One of my assistants who know how to use the device, she was using it for a while, put it on her, attach it to her phone, teach her how to use it. She made me the guardian, so the patient was told that every time she has, you know, any of these parameters go away, I'm going to get a text. Do you know the patient, this patient has been, she lost about 25 or 30 pounds over the last couple of months, and then she was a plateau for two to three months, but she kept coming. She lost seven pounds in those three weeks. Just thinking that I know what she's doing. <laughs> okay. I never got one text the whole three weeks. In fact, I forgot she had the device. <laughs> so the fact that my, and, and I'm going to, I'm getting a lot more. In fact, I got five to the office. They, they just got arrived the other day. We put it on a few of the, or, 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 of the people, the reception. If the patient knows that information is being transmitted back to the doctor, do you think that's going to change behavior? If your son and daughter know that information is being transmitted back to you and they agree, do you think that's going to change their behavior? I think that this patient really, and she was the only, the only one I put it on so far because I didn't really want to put it on because we didn't have limited devices. But I know that if we put it on 10 patients, 7 to 8 will be successful, which in medicine is a very high success rate. The FDA just wants a 20% difference between a placebo and a non-placebo drugs. So if we can show 70%, they'll be very happy. One of the things that I, I, I think that Jeremy understood, understood when he got into this device and he kind of put this all together, is that we are going to create a Smart for Life app for Halo because we believe that these devices are also going to help you sell product at some point. So other companies who are selling products uh, right now, nutritional products, are not going to stand the chance against us because not only will we be able to sell the products to the, to, through the different portals and the different app stores, that are going to be there, but we will sell them based on data. We'll sell them based on information. We'll sell them based on feedback from these devices that is going to tell us which supplements they need, what kind of food should, be, should they be eating. Should they be eating more fiber, less fiber, more sugar, less sugar, more greens, less greens, eat less free radicals. Are you living in an area where lead is very high? This is coming, folks. Okay, I know it sounds way out in the future, but it's not. It's right around the corner because the technology is available. We just need to get them all together to the device. And I can tell you, just the glucose monitoring, just that, is going to be revolutionary. I want to do a quick um, service message here. How many of you have a family doctor? How many of you go see a doctor once a year? All right. Well, the ones of you don't, go get your physical exam. Okay, it's important. And the ones that do, next time you go to the office, take an iPad with you, take your iPhone with you, and play them the video. Just play them the video. Ask for the text and send them the text. I'm asking you to sell. 
I want, you to, I want your doctors to be exposed to this device. And for the doctors who are interested, ask them. They have two, 3,000 patients in the database to send a simple email out and bring this information to their patients. Not only will you be making a lot of money, because you should be signing a hell of a lot of people, <laughs> but you'll also be doing a public service because you have no idea how many people's lives you're going to improve by just doing that simple thing. So walk into the office, wear the device, and as you're filling the forms, tell the receptionist, hey, can I show you something? It's really exciting and play them the video. Don't be embarrassed. Don't think, oh, it's a doctor's office. I can't do that. Doctors need to be exposed to this. And you need to get it done. I just want to add one other point. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, typical doctor. Doctor with Alzheimer's, <laughs> can't remember anything. I, so, in closing, I want to thank Jeremy for introducing me. I really want to thank him and all our staff to what we are. Uh, I want to add that I, don't need, I really didn't need to do this. Uh, the company is very successful. I live on the water. I had a 50 foot, you know, 50 foot boat. I sold it because nobody ever used it. It was like a pit in the, and, and it was like a hole in the water. But anyways, <laughs> I'm here because I believe that this is the greatest opportunity I've ever seen, period, period. And, <laughs> and, and, and I can tell you that the technology is sound and, the, and, and, and the, there is going to be some growing pains in this technology, okay? There will be, like, like anything else, because this is complicated, guys. This is complicated stuff. This device that you see on your wrist is sophisticated. But I think that this company has also chosen the network marketing model to go out with, and at the beginning, I thought it was wrong, but I think it's actually the perfect way to get this device out. Because if you gave this device to doctors to sell in their offices, it would take 100 years to get to where we are now. <laughs> you guys can blow this thing open. And I bet you that the next conference next year, we'll probably need to take four to five hotels in the this, in this city in order to, to fill it. <laughs> I, I know it. I know it. So I think that the network marketing model for this device and for this line of things that are going to follow it, because there'll be a lot of other things following it, is exactly the right way to go. And the idiots like me used to say, oh, no, no, I hate network marketing. <laughs> you know, are going to wake up and say, you know what, it works. You know why? Because people want to listen to other people and people trust other people. And, and, and frankly, doctors don't have time, and, and you know, the whole sales model is changing. I mean, how many of you buy from Amazon? What's happening to retail? It's all, it's all changing, folks. The whole world is changing. You will have your diapers changed by robots, trust me. Okay? I mean, I know you guys don't believe it, so you have to realize that things are changing and you got to pass the message on. This is the future. Let's get it done. If, thank you. Thank you.